I look at learning as a matter of content and process. The former involves the subject that you want to master. For instance, it could be learning a language, higher level of mathematics, how to cook like a master chef, or even how to improve your golf swing. This subject matters what I call content or substance. More important is the process of learning. Actually, if you think about it, most of your many years of education are spent on helping you master the process of learning new content. This is especially true as other than the basics of your primary language, most of what you learn is going to become expanded upon or even become obsolete sometime during your lifetime. Therefore, your focus should be on becoming a master learner rather than overly focusing on content. In order to become a master learner, you must realize how the brain perceives its environment. Add to this how the brain encodes information. This is another way of saying how the brain develops meaning. And lastly, you must learn how to recall your skills and information when required. By enhancing your ability regarding all three tasks, you can become a masterful learner. The use of suggestion and imagination to create behavioral and even physical changes has long been emphasized by trained and qualified clinical hypnotherapists as well as others who use hypnosis as an adjunct to their field. They have used traditional direct and permissive techniques as ways to create desired changes. Many of these methods are either a half a century or many centuries old. At the International Hypnosis Research Institute, we emphasize the mastery of these older techniques as a prerequisite. Then we add to them newer techniques which have been implied by modern science. The results is an enhanced human communication program called Advanced Neuronoetic Hypnosis. Despite the rich history, traditional hypnosis and related fields like Freudian psychoanalysis, theories and practices are basically over a half century old. Even popular ideas such as cognitive behavioral therapy are at best several decades old. ANH is based upon the latest thinking and research found in psychology, medicine, neurology, and physics. The underlying basis of ANH thus includes recent research, findings, and theory involved in neurology, theoretical physics, mind body integration, and even artificial intelligence. When combined, the conceptual framework is called the neurology of suggestion. It carefully considers the impact of suggestion and imagination from a neurological standpoint. Practitioners who wish to learn these concepts are invited to enroll in the ANNH certification program, which is comprised of 12 separate distance learning courses and includes over 75 skills. Please note that these skills are not meant to replace your current approach, such as CBT. Rather, these skills are intended to make you more effective regardless of your preferred methods. I encourage you to enroll in our program today by visiting www.advanced-neuro-noetic-hypnosis.org or you may enroll in individual courses by visiting courses.hypnosisresearchinstitute.org. Of course, you are invited to support the Institute as a member, as well as other benefits. Our small membership fee includes one free course, which may be applied to your ANNH certification. Also, members receive substantial discounts on individual courses and the certification program. For more information, visit www.hypnosisresearchinstitute.org.